guys, this is Tarot with Kittens, Weights, and Tarot, bringing you a deck review of Pam's Vintage Tarot. So, original art by Pamela Coleman-Smith, restored, uh, restored by Rayal. Um, so this was limited to 500 copies, um, and let's jump right into it. Okay, um, so it comes in this wonderful box, and um, I believe there were a few different sites that you could buy this off of, um, and they're made-to-order sites, so it's not like there was um, a bunch laying around and then they, <laughs> you know, ship them off to you, but they're only printing uh, 500 of them, you know, off, you know, all the various sites combined is 500. Um, so, yay, I was one of the lucky ones, and here we have copyright lucky card. Um, so I don't remember, I know, well, when I remember the, the name of the site that I bought this off of, I will link that down below, but I know that there were other people that got it off various other sites. So you are not limited to the site that I link below, you know, definitely just type in Pam's Vintage Tarot, um, into the toolbar and, um, or the search engine, you should be able to kind of find some various sites where you can find this. Um, so I'm not saying that you have to go get this, but um, if you maybe just want to look online at all the beautiful images as well as with this video, then you go right ahead. Um, okay, so it has this wonderful title card here. And I believe for all the copies, they all are the same. Um, just the boxes are different. So some people got the plastic boxes, some people got the plastic boxes and um, a little like... Um, tarot bag. Some people just got the tarot bag. Um, some people got the tarot bag and something else. So it just kind of depends on the site that you get it from. Um, and then there is a picture of our wonderful Pamela Coleman Smith. To all great people and those who mean so much to us, thank you for all your wonderful things you did. Your legacy is our foundation for a better future. And these are the backs of the cards. So you can see it has kind of like that tea staining and let me just show you the sizing difference. So I'm going to compare this with my green witch tarot, which is a standard tarot size with the Pam's vintage tarot. So you can see there's a, quite a bit of a sizing difference. Um, I would say Pam's Vintage Tarot is more closely related to a Lenormand card. So let me actually bust out a Lenormand card for you. And this is from my Natalie Rose um, Winter Solstice Lenormand. Okay, so you can see it's the same height as a Lenormand card, but maybe slightly skinnier. Okay these off to the side and let's take a look okay so you're not gonna see really any names um, on here you will get the the numbers for the major arcana up at the top uh, but that's it you know so if you maybe are a newbie and you're kind of struggling to figure out still what all the images are um, I mean, I'm not saying you can't get this deck, um, but it would just maybe be a lot more difficult if you're not familiar or, you know what, you could always just count. <laughs> you know, this is obviously the three of swords because one, two, three swords, um, you know, so you, you can do that. Um, and you'll notice that there is, um, Pamela's signature down at the bottom. Um, these cards do have a, mm, a stained look to them, and I love it. I love it so much. Uh, you know, I only have one other, um, I would say basic, well, not basic, but OG, like Rider Waite Smith type deck, and it's actually the giant deck, so it's kind of funny that I have a small deck and I have a giant deck. Um, and these are all out of order because I use this a lot. <laughs> I don't know what it is about it, but it just, it really draws me in. And I wasn't a fan of the images before, you know, I have so many other different types of decks that I would rather use, but for some reason with this one and with that very yellowy giant Rider Waite Smith, I just, or Rider Waite, I, I love it. And my clients love it too. Um, there are some extra cards in here that are by Pamela Coleman Smith. So it's her extra artwork. 
and I love using the extra cards, um, so I don't put them aside. And the cardstock, by the way, oh, so good. I don't know if you guys can see, it does have a linen finish to it. So, I love linen finishes, by the way. I am a big fan. <laughs> when I have printed out my own decks, like the Pushing the Cat Tarot and the Lisa Frank Tarot that you can buy or actually get free images online and then you can print them out yourself. Um, I always print on linen. I just, I don't know, I really like it. I think it's really durable and I like how they shuffle. I like that there are no borders, there's no wording it's just the image and your intuition and have at it and it's a good time this one was on its side so they drove star card that is one of my cards. Star card and strength card. <laughs> Those are my birth cards. So of course, if a deck has an awesome star card, awesome strength card, I'm all in. Leave in the comments if you have particular cards that you need to be like really cool with before you get a deck. Um, for me, it's star, strength, empress, and fool. Since I'm not a fan of clowns, I cannot deal with fool cards that are a clown. Uh, goodbye, be rooted? Oh, oh, goodbye, he roared, and don't forget the giant river wrath. <laughs> Some of the writing is kind of small on those extra cards. So this deck goes with me everywhere. I put it in my purse. I know it's protected by its case. Um, people that I've read for with this deck really like it. <laughs> they love its small, smallish size. Um, yeah, and the, the answers, the advice that it gives, it just seems really gentle with this deck. Okay. So I'm going to put these all back together and I'm going to give these a shuffle for you guys. And I'm just going to lay out three cards so you can see what that looks like. I'm not posing a question or anything, but hey, while you're watching this video, if you want to pose a question and get a reading, you go right ahead. <laughs> okay, so the one, two, three. All right. So that's it. That is Pam's Vintage Tarot. Um, let me know if you have this deck and how you work with it. Do you include the extra cards or do you not? Um, do you have questions for me? Definitely leave that in the comments section down below. Um, don't forget that you can grab a reading from me. I have so many different types of readings in my Etsy shop. Definitely head over there and go check it out. And if you want me specifically to use this deck, just let me know upon booking. Um, and don't forget to head over to patreon.com slash kittens, weights, and tarot for exclusive content for all my Patreon supporters, uh, helping to support uh, my little business, you know, not only um, to make uh, better, greater videos for you guys, entertainment for you, um, but also to create new things for my shop, new offerings. I, I want to do more freebies, you know, more giveaways, um, and I just want to help get my little business off the ground so I'm able to do that for you guys. Um, so if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that ding ding notification bell for more videos just like this. And I'll catch you spiritual homies later. Peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out!